Hello everyone, welcome to race 15 of 36 of the NR2003 Winston Cup Series. I am into SC4 and today I'm going to bring you live coverage of today's race. We're here at the Michigan National Speedway here in Brooklyn, Michigan for the running of the Sirius Satellite Radio 400. James Silverfox will star in the pole on the outside will be Tim Fiegel. Let's get this 20 lap race underway. Drivers, start your engines! And let's give you the top 10 starting lineup. James Silver Fox will start on the pole. Tim Figo will start second. Last week's winner at Pocono, Nick, Nick Piombo, will start third with Joseph Lombard in fourth. Um, Tim Welch and Shane Varnto, row three. Row four is Zoe Mudd and Mike West. And in row number five, we have Charles Jackson and Dome Caps. Points leader, folks. Um, let me see. Hang on. Let me find out where the points leader is starting. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Looks like he'll start 19th or 20th. Let me go back to the field a bit. Yeah, he'll start 19th. Um, overcast day here at Michigan, as a matter of fact. James Soapfox starting on pole. Tim Figo on the outside. Can Nick Piombo, that starting third, go for two in a row? We'll find out. And like I said, Justin Perry, the um, the points leader, will start 19th. Ryan Richards is going to turn his race around, his season around. He got involved in an accident last week at Pocono. See what happens here. Here we go, folks. Pace car. Is off. 20 laps here at Michigan. James Silverfox and Tim Fiegel will lead them down to the green flag for 20 laps. Here we go, folks. Crowd on their feet. The green flag is out, and we are underway here at Michigan. Three wide already back there. Charles Jackson, Zoe Mudd, and Mike West. Three wide. Looks like James Silfox is going to come off turn 2 with a great run. Charles Jackson making it 3 wide once again. He's actually picked up 4 spots already. Look at that. Or he's trying to pick up 4 spots. We should lap 1. Here comes Stone Caps for the... Wow! Whoa! What happened? Oh, here we go. For 2nd. Joseph Lombard for second on Tim Fiegel. Oh, Joseph let it off the throttle. Guess he got a little sideways, had to get off the gas. Tim Fiegel will hold on for second for now. Mike West trying to make some moves, but look at that outside lane getting that good run. Side by side still for third. Look at Nick Piombo getting that great run. Last week's winner at Pocono. Look at Charles Jackson, man. He is doing a very good job. Oh, here we go. Battle for the race lead. Tim Fiegel. Underneath James Silver Fox. And we got Battle for third. Three wide for third, as a matter of fact. Looks like James Silver Fox will hold the lead right now. That outside lane seems to be going for today's race. Maybe the line where you want to run today, as a matter of fact. Whoa! Tim Walsh got a little bit sideways. Justin Lombard still trying to get around for the third spot. Still side by side. One driver did come on pit row. Who is that? That is Mike West. Don't know what happened to him. Must have had a tire go down. He had to come on pit road, but he's going to be a lap down now. That's too bad. He was he started in the top 10. We go up front. James Silver Fox still leading. Here comes Tim Figo. He got a good run off turn 2. Turn 4, I should say. Underneath now, James Silver Fox with a race lead. 
But watch that outside lane. It could get the run. Look at James So Fox. Justin Lumbar's gonna go with James So Fox. That outside lane is going. Look at Charles Jackson. He's doing a very good job right now. Great battle here. There it goes. Nope. Not quite. 15 laps to go. I love those cars screaming by the wall. Wow! Here comes Charles Jackson for the second spot. Shane Varnado is in the mix. Adam Akers. Dome Caps, Nick Piombo. Here comes Shane Varnado for the third spot. Man, that outside lane is just moving. Brian Pasternak has cracked the top ten. Here we go, battle for the lead once again. Here comes Tim Fiegel. He's trying everything he can to try to get the race lead, but James Sofox, he's going to get that run off the outside. There he goes. James Sofox doing a very good job up on that outside lane. That lane seems to be the line today. Charles Jackson's now up on that outside lane. Just that you get that good run off the corner up there. Three wide for say. Look at Shane Varnado. Wow, he made it work. Nice move by him. But he kind of got loose sideways off the corner. Here comes Tim Fiegel. Tell you what, James Silfox has to... Man, he's clear to win this race. James Silfox trying to turn his season around too. Oh, here comes Nick Piombo making a 3-Y for 3rd. 4th. I'm stupid. Alright, Shane Varnado almost got the race lead. Did not happen. Holy cow, look at the group back here. Here comes Brian Pasternak. Remember I just mentioned he just cracked the top 10. He's in ninth right now. Got some great racing here at Michigan. There's the points leader, Justin Perry. He's right now in the 12th position, but he looks like he's going to drop back some more. Here we go for second. Possibly going for the lead here too. Tim Fiegel. Can't do it. But he does grab second. James Silfox just trying to pull away but cannot do it. Here we go. Dome Cavs for the... Third spot cannot do it. Coming to 10 laps to go. Let's give you the top 10 running award. James So Fox leads. Tim, um, Tim Figo second. Shane Varnado third. Dome Caps fourth. Nick Piombo fifth. Charles Jack sixth. Adam Maker seventh. Justin Lombard eighth. Tim Welch ninth. Brian Pashenek tenth. Here comes Shane Varnado for the race lead. But cannot do it. It's just that outside lane just getting a good run. Not that it's the inside lane's been working, it's just that that, that outside lane's been working a lot better. Then Tim Fiegel got a good run off the coin. He's going to try to go for the race lead here. But look at James Silfox blocks. Tim Fiegel is like, I don't think so. I'm going to take this race lead away from you. He's been trying ever since the beginning of this race. James Silfox did not get the run off the corner that he wanted to. Still, oh man, wow. All right. Coming to the line with eight laps to go. James Silfox leading. Charles Jackson going for third. How about let's go on board? James Silfox on board. Looking back for second. There's Charles Jackson going for second. Takes it. On board 
with Charles Jackson. Closing in on James O. Fox. Oh, he had to get off the gas a bit. Seven to go. Here comes Tim Fico going for the second spot. Whoa! Charles Jackson just almost got into James Sofox. This shot, James Sofox up the racetrack. Big Charles Jackson is going to take the lead. Maybe. No, not quite. Not that. It's not like he tried right there. He did. James Sofox looks. Oh, they're side by side coming the six laps to go. Charles Jackson got a good run off the course. So did James So Fox. James So Fox will hold the lead. Oh my goodness, it's been a great race so far. Six laps to go. Oh, here we go. About to go three wide for second. Tim Fiegel. Nice run on the bottom. Adam Akers, where did he come from? He's here in the mix. He wants to win this race. Tim Fiegel can't get, get the second spot. You see Adam Akers trying to go for fourth. Can't do it either. Here comes Charles Jackson. But James Silfox is going to close the door. Five laps to go here in Michigan. Oh, Charles Jackson got a great run. Here we go. Tim Figo is going to follow in through. Oh, he may have it this time. Look at this. Charles Jackson with a great run going into turn one. Gets the lead away. James Silfox has led most of the laps. It's now lost the race lead. Adam Akers going for fourth. What an outstanding race this has turned out to be. Four laps to go. At Charles Jackson leading. Adam Akers trying to go for fourth. Can't do it. Look at Joseph Lombard on the outside getting a good run. For second, Tim Fiegel. Tim Fiegel has been trying to pass James Sofox ever since the beginning of this race. Oh man, if I was James Sofox right now, I'll be hot because he's been leading all these laps. And then of course with a few laps to go, Charles Jackson just gets a good run into turn one and then off turn two and Charles Jackson takes the lead away. Joseph Loma trying to crack the top five. Coming to three laps to go, folks. Charles Jackson, your leader. Here comes J Tim Figo for the second spot. Oh, here we go. Three wide. Oh, it may not work. Oh, this is going to work for Tim Figo. It worked way better for Tim Figo. Charles Jackson gets way up to the outside. You know what? Charles Jackson's got a problem. Charles Jackson with a problem. Maybe a blown tire. Problems for Charles Jackson. Oh no. Oh poor Charles man. He was about to pull away and grab this win. And now folks he's got a problem with two laps to go. A flat tire. Oh what a disappointment. What a heartbreaker for Charles Jackson. Disappointing. But look at Tim Figo pull it away. He's got three tenths of second lead. What a heartbreaker for Charles Jackson. Oh, Tim Figo's got this, man. There is no one near him. Look at this side by side. James Sofa strike up for second. Here we go, folks. White flag is out. Final lap here at Michigan. Can Tim Figo with a three tenths of second lead hold off? Oh, look at Adam Akers getting a run. Three wide for third. This is some great racing. Tim Figo gets a great run off the corner. Down the back straightaway for the final time. I don't th I think Tim Figo has enough. Yeah, they're side by side. He has enough. What an interesting final laps this has been, folks. Coming off turn number four. Tim Figo in the two, Rusty Dodge, will get his first win this season. He wins the Sirius Satellite Radio 400 here at Michigan. Adam Akers second, James Silver Fox third, Shane Farnetto fourth, and Ryan Richards fifth. And Charles Jackson was about to get a win today here at Michigan, folks. He's going to 
end up there he is look at listen he's down on power that is upsetting for Charles Jackson had it in the bag and apparently something went wrong with the car looked like a tire went down at first but I guess it wasn't hmm but congratulations to Tim Figo on winning here at Michigan this is on board with Mike West on lap two. I don't know. I don't know what happened to Mike West. Be quite honest with you, I have no idea what happened to Mike West. I thought he had a tire go down. It didn't sound like it. Maybe he did have a tire go down. But that's him on lap two. Folks, this is on board with Charles Jackson. It looked like it was going to be his race, and listen. Right there. Listen to the engine. One it upset for Charles Jackson. He was leading with three laps to go and look at him dropping back. One an upset for him. Well, Tim Figo gets the win today. Let's, there's the point standings on the bottom right corner. Justin Perry now has a 177 point lead over Caleb Phillips. Jaron Caliban, 30 points, 211 back. Bruce Viviani, 4th points, 231 back. And Cole Daly rounds up the top 5 points, 249 back. Joe Salon with 7th points, 270 back. Uh, Steven Gonzalez, 8th points, 277 back. Ryan Pasternak, 9th points, 300 back. And Ricky Kennedy rounds up the top 10 points, 311 points back. But soon, I know Just Perry has that big lead, points lead, but the chase will come soon, so, uh,. Too bad for Jess Perry, he won't have that big lead soon. Well, folks, next race is going to be at, at Infineon Raceway in Sonoma, California for race 16 at 36. We're going road course racing, folks, for the running of the Dodge Save More 350. Once again, congratulations to Tim Figo and the two rusty Miller Lite Dodge on winning the Sirius Highway Radio 400 here in Michigan today. Folks, we will see you at Sonoma.